we are going to taste six different wines and white wines. Oh, I love white wine. I know. It's almost a hot summer. It's true. It's yeah. getting there. You know, in this part of the world, for me, the best time mm -hmm. is now from basically the end of the first week of March till the middle, maybe third week of April. Very, very best time here. Okay, then let's enjoy this, this time. Absolutely. <laughs> six now white... listen, yeah? we're going to be drinking six white wines, right? Yeah. If it was frigging hailing and snowing, I'd, it would still be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> really? You like white wines that much? I like red wines too, of course. Uh -huh. um, but there's something as I get older, there's nowhere to hide with white wine. I see. And what do you mean by getting older? You are still in the 20s. No, that's true. But I have the experience of a 65-year-old man. <laughs> right. So I'm not getting older, but my experience is. Oh, right. I see. <laughs> you are saying better and better. Yeah, that is for go. sure. There you go. <laughs> and I chose these six wines, which pair really well with raw fish. With raw fish? Yeah. With a sliced raw fish. Sashimi or crudo? Yeah. <laughs> and where's the sashimi? <laughs> In our imagination. Oh, I'm supposed to pair them with food that I can't even see? What do you think of that? <laughs> it is called uh, creative. Okay, I, I got it. <laughs> right. So are you ready? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, about the rules, I selected these six wines from four different countries and in terms of grape varieties they are all different six different grape varieties yeah all from old world okay goodness gracious let's do it <laughs> i'm getting so excited yeah okay the first wine i also don't know which one is which one okay you're talking about these wines that kind of pair well with raw fish mm -hmm. so we typically the best ones would be minerally with not too much oak if any oak at all can i start Yes, please. Let's start. All right, all right. <laughs> Cheers to Cheers. a lovely tasting. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it as much as I know we are going to. <laughs> I'm not going to get any better. That was oh. really, really difficult. Yeah. So let's try and figure out the countries first. Okay. Because then that way I can come back and review my answers. I apologize, Peter. Five different countries. Five different countries. Yeah. Old, old world, okay, but okay. five different countries. Um, Sorry. All right, that's good because I I hadn't managed to find an Italian wine here yet. <laughs> so right. I was looking for the Italian wine and I thought I found it, but then I found something that no. So, okay, so now all right, I'm going to go back and see which one of these is Italian. I correct it okay. from five different countries. To make a couple of remarks, you're talking for wine that goes well with crudo, sashimi. Yeah. So what you want is something, generally speaking, you know, they are going to be slightly lower character. I don't mean good character, bad character. I mean less pushy. Yeah. Less of a statement about the wine and more of a boost for the fish. Yeah. That was my intention. And, and, and you got it right. But, yeah. but that makes it much more difficult to taste these things. I think all of these wines have their place with sashimi. Mm -hmm. So all in all, a successful tasting. What I'm going to ask you to do is, I'm going to tell you what countries they are, I think. Okay. You tell me if I'm wrong. Then once we got the countries right, I'll go back and see if I want to change what I've written. Okay. And but then we'll go through. I don't know which one is from which country. That's okay. We'll, yeah. we'll just go for the, the, the five countries. Yeah, right. France. Uh -huh. Spain. Mm -hmm. Italy, mm -hmm. Greece, mm -hmm. and Germany. Uh, no Germany. No Germany. Yeah. The fifth one, right? Sixth. The sixth one. It smells uh, petrol. Yeah. yeah. I was sure this was German <laughs> Riesling. I knew I didn't include any Riesling, but it smells really Riesling. And it's slightly sweet. That's amazing. <laughs> right. So I have no idea. So we've got France, Spain, Italy, Greece, Greece and there's one other country. Mm -hmm. It's from Austria. Is it from Austria? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now that I know these things, uh -huh. now let me go back. Okay. So th the key thing is to figure out what this last one is. It's the last one. It's the last one that's killing me. It's quite smoky, isn't it? I've already got my Gruner. Don't start with me. <laughs> I've already got my Queen of Eltelina too. I did find originally two Spanish ones mm -hmm. because I found a Rueda. Mm -hmm. And I found an Albariño. Yeah. 
You're right. There is one Rueda and then there is one Alvarino. Yeah. Okay, the Rueda was easy. Number six is the problem. All right, let's do it because I'm not getting any better. I don't know about you. What do you think about the overall quality? Overall quality is good, not mm. great. Mm -hmm. Good. I would be disappointed if any of these wines cost more than around $25, $26. There is one which costs $27. And all the rest are below that. Yeah. 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 So the important thing is I always tell quality is where the money is. Yeah. So we already got the pricing. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, what do you think about the number one? I think it's gentle. I think it's subtle. Mm -hmm. I think it's well made. It's very nice one. Yeah. Okay, number one. It's Perdejo. Herederos del Marques de Riscal. Okay. Rueda Perdejo. 2019. How much was that? It's 750. Really? Yeah. Very, very lovely wine for the money. Yeah, I agree. I really agree. Yeah, yeah. Numero dos. You go first this time. <laughs> right. The color, it's deeper, lemon yellow. I smell lots of ripe apricot in it. It's clean and nice. Acidity is nice. I thought this was Albarino. It had a slight spritz too. And I agree with you. I thought this was Albarino. Yeah. Okay, then... Then we're probably both wrong. <laughs> That's very possible. <laughs> Alberino tends to be expensive, but if this was around the $14, $15 mark, not bad at all. Okay. Let's see. All right. I like the richness of the wine. It's very rich. Yeah. Maybe with sake sushi or um, hamachi sushi, but otherwise it's, it's getting a little big. All right. Okay, number two. Yeah, it's Alvarino. Alvarino, okay. <laughs> Pato Sierro, Alvarino, 2019. And the price? $12. Yeah, as I said, around 15, it's decent value. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. So number one and number two are very good. Yeah. And then number three? Slightly off dry, quite bold. I wondered whether it was a leasy wine with some lees contact looking for Muscadet, but in the end I went for Greece and Acertico. Okay. And in terms of quality, what do you think? Good. Good? Yeah. At the sort of $17, $18 point. Very clean, very fine, well balanced, nice minerally wine. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Shall it be okay with raw fish? Absolutely. Okay. I would like to see it with more delicate fish. You know, the white fish is a snapper perhaps, uh -huh. something like that. I remember you once called me Whipper Snapper. <laughs> <laughs> Whipper Snapper is a different thing. <laughs> okay, it's not a fish, right? Not a fish. The Snapper is a fish. Whipper Snapper is an impertinent young person. <laughs> right, I know. After you called me Whipper Snapper, I looked for the term in a dictionary. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is number three. Yeah. Acertico. Acertico. Yeah. So this is Acertico from so, Santor Santorini, which is the most famous place for Acertico. Yeah, from Santorini, 2019. And the winery's name is Greek Wine Cellars. The price is $20. Good bottle of wine. Yeah, good bottle of wine. Okay, then number four. What did you find in this wine? If you compare it to number one, mm -hmm. they're not dissimilar. To me, the nose is almost identical. Yeah. Even the color. It's a very nice wine. The, at the $18, $19 level, it's a good wine. Okay. And I found a really lots of ripe mango in it. Number four. Pam, 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 pam. Vermentino. Costa Molino Vermentino di Sardegna, 2019. From Argiolas. We do know what a quality grape Vermentino is. In my mind then it means that number six is a Gruner and that's not good. For me, Vermentino is normally linear than this one. Vermentino is a big wine, capable of absorbing enormous amounts of heat when you make it. To me it's not classic Vermentino. It's beautiful and the price is $16. Not bad at all. Cannot fight with that. No. Frankly speaking, I like all these four wines from number one to number four. Yeah. Wine number five. So this is French. Chardonnay or Savoie, Roussette, something like that. For me, number five is really bland. Very, very bland. But then, you know, Chardonnay is bland unless you do all sorts of weird things to it. But too bland. I'm going to go with French Chardonnay on that. Okay. Macon, not an expensive wine. So, number five. Oh, yeah. It's Burgundy Bottle. 
Petit Chablis. Petit Chablis. What year? 18. 2018. Pascal Bouchard. Blanc Caillou. And this one costs $27. Yeah, they had you. They saw you coming. <laughs> they always see me coming. <laughs> Ryan. The stupid Jay is coming. <laughs> you can buy regular Chablis for that money. I'm not going to say it's a bad wine, but it's a little expensive. Okay. Finalmente, then number six. So I there's say. the Gruner, but <laughs> it's soapy. This is the least good of all the wines. So this is Loima, Lois Gruner Veltliner, 2017. Nieder Österreich. Loima is a decent operation. Exactly. But Peter, we have to do the ending. Ah! <laughs> I don't want it to end. <laughs> Me neither, but we should do it. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, for you, what were the recommendable wines and what were your least favorite wines? So, my least favorite wine by far was the last one, the Gruner. For the price, the Riscal was fantastic. That's incredible. Yeah. Then, the Rias Baixas was good. Santorini I really liked. Um, <laughs> lean, focused, to the point. You know, you can see that the Greeks have a hell of a lot of history in food and wine. The Vermentino was very rich. Uh -huh. uh, Vermentino is, a, is a, an amazingly underappreciated grape. This one is from Sardinia. It's also the same grape that is called Rol mm -hmm. in Provence. And then number five? Number five turned out in the end to have been... Petit Chablis. Petit Chablis. I mean, it's, it's a nice wine. It's very bland. Okay. $27. No, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Your answer was so quick. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, too much. Now listen, man. You can buy Chablis uh -huh. for less money. Chablis should be better than Petit Chablis. Number six. No damn good. No damn good. Yeah. For me, my least favorite wines were number five and number six. Um, I think I agree. Number five, not because it was so much my least favorite, but it was the least value for money. Yeah, it's too expensive. Actually, number six was the least value for money because I wouldn't want to drink it at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we are going to invite a very good friend of mine who is a Japanese. And he's going to talk about Grudos. Grudos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ことさん。はい。ワイン飲んでますか昨日の夜飲みました。昨日の夜飲んで、またタブルの上に置いてますね。おう。ちょっと前、ペータさんと一緒に刺身とか寿司と一緒に飲んだらいいワインのテイスティ
、これがいろいろなお刺身が乗って、この下に、あの、寿司の酢飯。ああ、これがチラシ寿司ですかそうです。ああ。チラシ寿司。でも知らなかったでしょ、これ。これ食べたことないですさ。食べたことは多分あると思う。<笑><笑>多分たくさん飲んでて、忘れた。<笑>忘れた思います。覚えてないんだと思う。覚えてない。チラシ寿司ってなかなか、そうね。あえて注文して頼むものじゃないから、珍しいといえば珍しい。あ、そうなんですかまあ、これはあの、バラチラシ。バラチラシバラチラシ。それ何ですかこのお刺身はいろんな種類のお刺身がたくさん載ってるでしょそうそうそう。そう、本当は握り寿司だと、これ一つずつを握って、出るでしょあでこうやってバラバラにこう散らしてあるからバラ散らしバラ散らし寿司うん、うん、ね大好きなマグロも入ってますよあそうですねウニもあってな何が入ってますかその時によって違うんだけどこれはねマグロウニイクラタイノドグロキンメダイメバルエビ築地市場東京で一番有名な大きい魚市場ですねそう。あの、築地フィッシュマーケットは、2019年に豊洲に移転しました。周りにあるお店はまだ残っていて。私たち一緒に、そんなお店に一緒にいたことありますね。うん、そうね。一緒に買い物に行ったね。その時、んこれも買いましたよね。<笑><笑>わさびと生わさび。すごいね。手に入るんだね。アメリカに来て、今日初めて買いましたよ。三千円です。た<笑>でも僕は本当に生わさび大好きで。ねえ、そうだよね。そうですね。初めて買いました。おわさびをするやつも持ってきましたよ。<笑><笑>でも今日は私たちジラシー寿司について話して特別に買いました。そしてこのお醤油も買いましたおお、刺身醤油ね刺身醤油だから今日夜僕お刺身食べる予定ですねペーターさんと一緒にテイスティングした白ワインも残ってるし、うんうん、これだけたくさん入ってるからでもどれに合わせるかをすごい悩んだそのジラシーズシと一緒に僕が飲みたいワインはスペインのアイバリーニョとイタリアのベルメンティーノそしてギリシャのアスエルティコギリシャのワインは飲んだことないか雰囲気はでもアルバリーニョとかあっちの方に近い感じちょっとそうですね。3月の3日は日本ではひな祭りと言って、女の子の子供がまあ健やかに成長する、健康で、えー、美しくなるようにという、そういう日なんですね。そういう日に食べるのがチラシです。お酒と一緒に<笑><笑>子供、子供、子供。日本は二十歳、二十歳を超えてからです。でも、お寿司屋さんに行ったら注文できるものですか注文できるお店もあります。でも、できないお店もあるし。できないお店もあります。テイクアウトするメニューとしては、これ、バラチラシっていうのはあります。お店で食べるのは、そうね、別々かな。お寿司はお寿司で頼んで、お刺身はお刺身で頼んで。ああ、テイクアウトで。お弁当みたいにして、こういう箱に詰めて、持って帰る。そうしたら築地市場にあるお店からは一般的に買えるものですかうん、多分買えます。あ,あそうなんですか。そう、メニューになくても酢飯があって、あとお寿司のネタがあって、それをまあいろいろ散らしておけば散らし寿司になる。もしかすると、あの、メニューにはなくてもバラ散らし作れるって言ったら出してくれるお店もある。ああ、そうなんだ。メニューになくても注文したらできる。うん、ああ、そうしたら、例えば、お寿司屋さんには、お寿司とかお刺身食べて、ホテルにはテイクアウトして、うん、飲みたいワインと一緒に食べて飲んだら、本当にいいと思いますね。それはいい。ありあり。私たち一番好きな食べる方ですよ。ああ。そうね、実は難しいのは、僕には一番大事なことは、美味しいものと、よく会える美味しいワイン一緒に飲んで食べるのが本当に欲しいですがでも一般的にお店に寄ったらそのワインリストとかがあまり良くないですねもうその通り特にお寿司屋さんなんかはねそうですね毎
って言っても、ワインなんかそんなものねえよっていう。<笑>あ、でもね、ここのお店、貸し頭さんは、ワインも置いてました。あ、そうなんですかワインもあったし、シャンパンもあったし。あ、本当に、うん、お店の名前なんですか貸し頭。貸し頭。Yes. どこにありますかえっ、ー、とね、築地の場外市場というのがあって、そこからちょっと銀座の方に寄ったところ、築地の場外市場、メインストリートの方。だから、築地市場のその周りにあるお店ですね。そうです。ああ。あと、住所と、そんな情報をお願いします。詳しい場所とか、その辺は、僕の YouTube の方でまた。はい。しますよ。後藤さんの YouTube、下にそのリンク残るから、訪問してお願いします。そうね。<笑>僕、築地市場、わさび買うために行ったことも3回、4回以上だと思いますよ。魚も買ったでしょ<笑>もちろんそうでした。<笑>マグロを買いましたね。<笑>マグロもいつも買って。築地市場のレストランの特徴は、僕には、本当に狭い。<笑>本当に狭くて<笑>。このように食べますね。隣の人に、すみません。体が多くて<笑>、すみません<笑>。ことさんも同じでしょ同じ。大きい人だから。そんなお店に持ち込みは一般的にできますかどうですかお金、費用を払って。日本は最近、あの、お願いすれば、うん、抜線料、まあ、2000円とか。あコーキージフィー、うん、2000円ぐらい、うん、あそれいいですね、うん、最近そういうお店が本当に増えましたそれいいニュースですよそうでも先に電話してお願いして確認してできたらお金払って持ち込みするのが正しいことですねはい昔日本に J が日本にいた頃はあんまりね持ち込みさせてくれる店も少なくて少なかったですでも後藤さんはそんなスペシャルなテクニックができる人でしたよね。<笑>そうするとやっぱりワインが好きな人たちがそのお店であ持ち込みができるというので、そうですね。貸し切りにしてワイン会をすごくやってました。でも先に連絡して確認するのが必要なんですよ。そうです。チラシ寿司はその日本全国で食べれるものですか今日本全国で食べれます。食べたい。<笑>食べたいでしょ。<笑>食べたい食べたい。<笑>わあ。韓国にも似てるものがあります。あ,あ、こういうチラシ寿司？はい。でも日本のものがちょっともっと甘くて、そしてお刺身の量がもっと多いそうですね。韓国ではそれはフェトッパッと言ってチラシ寿司と野菜。野菜。はい、一緒に混ぜて。えー、韓国人なら、そのビビンパ大好きですね。ああ、なるほど。ビビンパ式で食べます。ええー。熱い鍋じゃないでしょ熱い鍋ではないです。でも、一般的にご飯は多分熱いですよ。そしてソースでは、お醤油とか、コチュジャン使って食べます。それも美味しいですよ。ああ、そう、ジェイの家に行った時にあれだよね。コチュジャンでマグロ食べたりして。<笑>そうでしたよね。そうだ。あと、J のお父さんに、ヒラメをごちそうになったとき、その時もなんかコチュジャンで食べたな。<笑>そうです。即調に行ったとき。即調、即調で。どんなワインですかあプイフメイ。プイフメイ。僕はアセルティックです。アセルティック。のギリシャのワイン。ええー、なんか、エチケットが綺麗ね。僕ですかじゃあ乾杯。バー。乾杯。<笑>いいなあチラシ寿司食べたい<笑>チラシ寿司の食べ方も二通りあってあそうですかもうここにわさびをお醤油に溶いてお醤油をかけてしまうはいはいはい人もいるしあの一つずつお刺身を取ってちょっとお醤油をつけて食べる人もいる後藤さんはどんな食べる方が好きですか最初のうちは別々で食べて、まあ半分ぐらい食べたら、わさびを溶いた醤油をかけてしまって食べる。<笑>二通り楽しめる。これは何でしょうあー、マグロ。マグロです。これ大トロでしょ大トロです。よくわかりました。ああ、そうですね。
<笑>お目が目が出てます<笑><笑>美味しそうな食べたいでしょう食べたいよ<笑>あーあー<笑>苦しい<笑>いただきます<笑>うん<笑>でマグロを食べてからすし飯詰めてはい I'm crying to さん<笑>わさびが聞いたの<笑>あそのお刺身と酢飯別々に食べますかお父さんは別々に食べてもいいし一緒に食べてもいいですああそうなんですね、うん、僕やっぱりお寿司と,とワインを合わせるやっぱり酢飯の酢でそのお酢のお酢がまあお寿司屋さんによってその酢の味が違うんですよそうですねでその酢のビネガーのその酸とワインのその酸の相性で選ぶようにしてます。ああ、完璧な説明ですね。ええ、感動しました。そしてそのお刺身の種類が何個？十種類以上だと思う。十種類以上。うん。それいいですね。いろいろな味が楽しめてチラシ寿司は楽しいです。ああ、そうですね。見てももう楽しい。ジェイが目が離せなくなる。そうです。<笑>あ<笑><笑>うまいですかうんあうまそうです<笑><笑>一人で食べてそんなにうまいですか<笑><笑>ここから見たらこのちらし寿司のいいことはこれがお寿司の雰囲気もあってお刺身の雰囲気もありますね両全部できるそんな食べ物ですねとてもゴージャスな感じもするでしょそうです。いくらですかこれでね、2750円。2750円。ああ、量も結構あるし。これだけの種類のお魚を食べて、2750円で。とっても安いと思う。そう思いますよ。これ、一人分ですか二人分ですかこれ一人分。税は多分これ、2倍ぐらいある。<笑> 3倍ぐらいとか。日本でもやっぱりこうやってバラチラシを食べるときは特別な日。あ特別な日。普通の時は食べない。ことさんが言ったのは、昨日も食べたと言ったと思いますうん。昨日3つ買って。<笑>だから毎日が特別な日ですかそうですね。<笑>今日はジェイと一緒に食べるから特別だね。<笑>一緒に、一緒に食べることではないでしょう<笑><笑>紹介してもらってありがとうございます。ええー。<笑>ぜひ日本に来たら貸し菓子が行ってみましょう。ああ、行きましょう。詳しい情報は、後藤さんの YouTube を訪問してもらってください。<笑>下にリンクありますこんな感じにして、こう、下にあるよ。そうですよ。いろいろいワインレイボベンドルのローシメン、ワインをちゃんと知らない、편하고、싸게사실수있도록、제가많이도와드립니다。다들、満足하시고、좋아하시더라고요。<音楽>